Hey guys, how's it going? It's James here, and I'm back after about, what, eight, nine months. I'd like to apologize for that. I'm going to try to be a lot more consistent. I've just been dealing with life. But I'm back with another tutorial video, and hopefully I'm not too rusty at these. But today I'll be showing you my personal best performance settings for Ujinx and Tears of the Kingdom. This is how I'm able to play at 4K um, and 30 frames per second constantly. And hopefully these settings will help you if you have a similar setup. And if you do not, you have a slightly weaker setup. I will show you some options that you can use to get better performance out of this game as well. So first thing, of course, you want to go ahead and update Ryujinx if there's an update for it after you open it. Because they update extremely frequently. But after that, there's really nothing too much heavy here. But I'm going to show you this one thing in my mods directory. And this is a 30 FPS mod. They also have a dynamic refresh 60 FPS mod. So if you cannot fully run 60 frames per second constantly, you won't experience a slowdown like the 30 FPS mod. And the reason that I have this is because I was running this since day one and the performance wasn't the greatest and this really helped. But now if you have a similar or more powerful system, you might not even need this at all. But I will have those linked in the description for you. But we're gonna go ahead and go to options, settings. And these settings should really help any game that you play because if you can run Tears of the Kingdom in 4K, there shouldn't be any other Switch game besides Pokemon Scarlet that you couldn't run in 4K. And you might even be able to do that now. And I'd like to iterate that there will be no links for these for any of these games or anything in the description at all. Just links for the mods. And that's it. So I'll go into system. And after you go into system, you want to make sure that you mirror these exact settings that I show you here. If this isn't what you're looking at, just go ahead and change these to this. These are the best possible settings for audio back end, you know, stability of V-Sync. If you turn off V-Sync, it's going to speed up the game quite a bit and make it run like really fast like double the speed and that's not really it's not really a great experience here but we're gonna go ahead and go to graphics where these are the most important settings you want to have here so my system I am running a Ryzen 9 3900 X uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM and of course the GeForce RTX 2080 Super uh, this is the Zotac gaming edition so it is slightly overclocked on the memory and the core clocks but for graphics back in multi-threading you want to make sure that you have this on so basically it speeds up in performance on GPU drivers without multi-threading support of their own. So if you're running on older cards, this can really help you out. If you're on AMD and Nvidia, just go ahead and set this to Vulkan. Vulkan offers the best performance and uh, over OpenGL, OpenGL is good, but it stutters a lot more frequently, at least for me, than it does Vulkan. Preferred GPU, you want to make sure you have whatever your dedicated GPU is here. Go ahead and check enable shader cache. If it's not, you can leave this unchecked. I really haven't played with this setting, but I doubt it does anything. And enable macro HLE. This was a default setting that was on as well. You can go ahead and keep that on. For resolution, I, like I see I have mine 2x. This isn't in docked mode, by the way. So in docked mode, you're running 1440p. and In undocked mode, excuse me, you're running 1440p. And in docked mode, you're running 4K, 2160. 3840 by 2160. Um, if you're having issues running it at 4K, and you can even go higher than that, my PC is not not too happy when I <laughs> do 3x or 4x. So, 2x or 1x um, native. If you're having, you know, if you have a, a less powerful system for the post processing effects, if you have a less powerful system or you were just having issues with SMAA, I recommend going to FXAA. Do not hit none. This game needs aliasing, especially if you're going to be stretching the resolution. It's going to look like utter trash. So I keep mine on SMAA medium. This offers me the best, you know, look to performance ratio. Keeps me around 28 to 30 FPS in all scenes of the game. And for the upscale, you can choose FSR. They have bilinear, nearest, and FSR. If you choose FSR, this is in, this is AMD's version of, I guess, dynamic super resolution. So with this, you're going to make sure you have the slider around the 80% region. I kept it around in 20s at first, but I, it made the game look horrible. So I recommend 80, 85, you know, that's the sharpening and everything that's going to make it look better if you're having any issues. If you want to keep these settings and want to get a little bit more performance, then you go ahead and hit FSR. But I keep mine for nearest. And the anisotrophic filtering, this doesn't really have a huge performance input. It just allows you to see distant objects or like textures a little bit closer, far away. They appear more clear. 
Um, I keep mine on auto. It really doesn't affect anything, but you can set it to four times or eight times. That's what I recommend. If you have a more powerful system, 16 times. Like I said, I barely notice a difference when I play, so I don't even mess with these settings. So after that, you can go ahead and hit apply, save, and close it out. And then you can go ahead and open Tears of the Kingdom and run it, and you should have a noticeable performance input. Uh, increase if you hadn't had it before you shouldn't be experiencing the locked 20 frames per second that happens occasionally that you need to restart your computer and everything should be golden from here now if you want to see some actual tears of the kingdom gameplay with these settings um at 4k i'm going to do this in a separate video because i don't want this video to be too long but if you liked it and it helped you out guys please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content it's up to you you don't have to and i'll see you guys in the